First of all, the scope of big data in the Air Force is kind of large because we have, we talk about big data in terms of emails, we talk about big data in terms of transaction, network transaction flows that we have, billions of those we talk about in terms of uh, documents. We have four billion documents plus four billion documents out there that we have to track and keep track of. We also have simulations and modeling data at the mm -hmm. same time. And uh, that's not including even the ISR videos that we gather petabytes of data per day. So big data for us is all the time big data for us. Now what we've done is we've, we've formed now a Air Force data panel to actually look at data across the Air Force as an enterprise because you want to say data is really an asset that we have to utilize. Sure with the intent of eventually controlling the data, making standard policy for that data and how we're going to utilize it as well as probably uh, talking about setting up a chief data officer to yeah, actually that, manage that trends it all. out there. I was going to ask you about that when you brought it up. There are a number of agencies now creating chief data officers. Yeah, because we decided we have to, we have to the, the main thing is that data is really a, a real asset for us, and we have to start treating it as an asset as opposed to something else. We also have talked about having uh, developed an information management application, which will actually control all the data within the Air Force in terms of tagging and access control and everything else associated with it, as well as we're doing uh, predictive analysis as, and classification analysis on the data as well. Because you can imagine the four billion documents that we have, we have to determine the disposition codes in all those documents. Right. 